back in my kitchen today with Berta J. Today we're going to make a really simple vegetable dish that um, I would like to put with just a salad. And you can have that as your lunch or your, or your dinner. It's butternut squash with sage and cranberries and onions too. So the first thing we're going to do is you have to cut up a, a medium size, I've already done it, into bite-sized pieces. I'm famous for bite-sized pieces or fit on a spoon better. So you're going to do bite-sized pieces. This is half of a medium-sized butternut squash. Uh, so I think that's a good place to start. And what you're going to do is roast it in your regular oven or your, micro or your um, toaster oven at 375 for 50 minutes. So we're just going to pour these on. Looks like a lot, just spread them all out. And you're gonna roast them, and then you're gonna go back in, I would say probably every 15 minutes or so, and just turn them so that the ones that are on the top get to get to the heat on the uh, near your parchment paper. You're gonna parchment paper line. Whenever I roast something, it's always parchment paper lined. So that's what you wanna do too. You don't need a lot of oil. Um, so that's it, that's all you're gonna do. The next thing you're gonna do, is you could roast these in another oven, on another uh, oven tray. But what I like to do, this is a medium onion, Vidalia onion that I'm gonna cut in half, because I don't need all this. If you used a whole medium butternut squash, you would use the whole onion, but I'm only gonna use half. And what I'm gonna do is make semicircles. An onion normally goes like that, underneath this skin, this parchment skin. I'm going to take um, and just cut it down, and I'm going to cut that, that semicircle in half, okay? I'm just going to cut it. I kind of hold it. Got it all cut downward. Now you're just going to cut it, stack them all together, and just cut straight down in the middle. And you're going to put it in a pan, medium heat, in a pan, medium heat, with a little vegetable broth and water. I would say maybe a quarter of a cup, third of a cup, something like that. And you're going to stir that up. And you're just going to let it cook until they become very translucent. Okay? Okay, so we're back now. And what we're gonna do is mix all the cooked butternut squash. It just came out of the oven, it's nice and hot. And I'll show you. It should be nice and tender. So you can easily insert a fork in it like that. It's really simple, because before, butternut squash is pretty hard. So you want it kind of, you want it soft. So take all this off, throw it into a bowl, and you see it'll get nice and toasted brown without any oil or anything like that. This parchment paper is wonderful for um, browning things without oil. Okay, so it's been in there. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like, like that, nice and browned. Looks really great. And then you're going to put in your cooked onions. Remember we cooked those? I said 20 minutes, but onions don't take that long. I don't know what I was thinking of. So about maybe 10, 7, 8, 10 minutes. Watch them. And so I'm going to put the onions in. That's a half of a medium. Just with some vegetable broth or water. Okay. This is sage and a little salt. What I'm going to do is also put in like three turns of of pepper. Start low with your salt and pepper because you can always add, but it's difficult if you start high and you can't take it out. So a couple of turns of pepper and we used a pinch of salt. And then the last ingredient is going to be two tablespoons of just dried cranberries, craisins. And that's, your, that's the dish right there. And then you're going to toss it together. It's really good. 
mix it all around. This is a starch and on the McDougal program, most of the, the main part of your meal is starch and then you add vegetables. You have a fruit for dessert, if you would like. So this would be the starchy part of your meal, which is the main part of your meal. And have a salad with it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put it out here. And there we go. So that's it. Your cranberry, onion, sage, little salt and pepper, butternut squash. Butternut squash is really good for you and it's delicious. Uh, it, I, you can get it just all year round, but around this time of year, it uh, tends to be sweeter. It's very, very good. So you have it with a little salad and you've got a great meal. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this. It's very simple, it takes a little while um, to cook, but actually all the ingredients, once you've got them all cooked and put together, is very, very quick and it is really delicious. Bye for now. I hope you enjoy it.